Today's lesson is measures of position. Measures of position, known as measures of location. So, three measurements, lower quartile, known as first quartile. Second quartile, known as median or middle value. You have learned about this in measures of central tendency. And last one is upper quartile, known as third quartile. First, focus on ungroup data. We start with first quartile. Look at the definition. 25% of observation less than Q1 and the other 75% is more than Q1. This one is three steps. How to calculate Q1. Look at this example. So first, arrange the data from the smallest to the highest value. Like that. Okay, next step. Find position of Q1. N. What is the value of N? 7 plus 1 divided by 4. So you got 2. So where is 2? Based on the arrangement of data. Second observation is 30. Therefore, Q1 equal to 30. How to comment? 25% of observation less than 30. And the other 75% is more than 30. Okay guys, so far so good. Next, we proceed to third quarter, known as upper quarter, Q3. Look at the definition. 75% of observation less than Q3 and the other 25% more than Q3. How to calculate Q3? First, arrange the data from smallest to the highest. Next step, find the position. And last one, based on the position obtained, you can find the value of Q3. Look at the example. First step, arrange the data like that. Next, find position of Q3. 3. How many N? 7 plus 1 divided by 4. So position of Q3 is 6. Look at this data arrangement. Where is observation number 6? This one, 60. Therefore, Q3 equal to 60. How to comment? Back to basic concept of Q3. 75% of observation less than 60. And the other 25% is more than 60. Okay, next. What happened if I add another observation such as 80? Okay, next step. Arrange the data. Here. Highest value. Next step. Find position of Q3. So right now, N is 8. And then you got Q3 equal to 6.75, the position. Okay, next. How to find Q3 based on this position? 6.75 is in between 60 and 70. How to calculate Q3? By using this formula. Therefore, third quarter, lower value. Lower value is 60. So, 60 plus decimal. Decimal is 75. So, 0 0.75 times upper value here. 70. 70 minus lower value, 60. So, Q3 equal to 67.5. Okay, look at another example to calculate first and third quartile. But first, we focus on how to calculate first quartile. First step, arrange the data. Second, find the position of Q1. You got 3.25. Next, find the value of Q1, which is in between 59 and 60. So look at here, 59. 
lower value plus decimal here and then times upper value minus lower value so you got q1 equal to 59.25 next proceed how to calculate q3 first step arrange data second step find the position of q3 9.75 next step find the value of q3 so where is q3 in between 80 and 82 okay this one lower value plus decimal times upper value minus lower value so final answer is 81.5 now we proceed to ungroup data with frequency. Okay, this is example for ungroup data with frequency. So based on the data, calculate the lower and upper quartile. So how to calculate? First start, find the cumulative frequency and determine the interval. Okay, like that. Okay, next, find the position of Q1 and also Q3. So position of Q1 Substitute n equal to 66. So you got 16.75. Next, position of Q3. You got 50.25. Okay, next. How to find Q1 and Q3? So look at the position obtained for Q1. 16.75. Look at the cumulative frequency. 16.75 is in between. 1 and 20. Therefore, Q1 equal to 0. Next, Q3. Position is 50.25. Look at the cumulative frequency. So, 50.25 in between 42 and 56. Therefore, Q3 equal to 2. Okay. So, the answer is Q1 0. Q3 is 2. We'll proceed to group data. Example, to calculate first and third quarter. So this one, marks and number of students. Okay, how to calculate first quartile for group data? First step, calculate cumulative frequency like this. And then determine the interval for each cumulative frequency like this. Next, you need to find the position of Q1 using this formula. So, position is 12.5. Where is 12.5? In between 10 and 18. Therefore, this row becomes Q1 plus. Next step, calculate Q1 using this formula. First, look at the symbol in the formula. LQ1 means lower class boundary of q1 class next position substitute 12.5 okay next fq1 means cumulative frequency before q1 class okay next what's that number nine this one frequency of q1 class and last one c class size of q1 class substitute and then you got final answer is 53.39 how to interpret q1 concept 25 percent of students scored less than 53.39 marks and the other 75 percent scored more than 53.39 marks okay now proceed to how to estimate lower quartal using ogif so we will use same ogif distribution of marks okay next step to find first quartal, you need to find position of Q1, which is n divided by 4. Position is 12.5. So, 12.5 based on number of students. So, where is 12.5? Here. Then, draw a line. Intersection here. Draw the other line. So, this point is Q1 value. So, how to calculate or estimate the Q1? Q1 equal to 49.5. This lower value plus how many box? 4 box. 1 box equal to 1 mark because the class size is 10. So plus 4, you got 
Q1 equal to 53.5. How to interpret? 25% of students scored less than 53.5 marks and another 75% scored more than 53.5. Now we proceed to how to calculate third quartile for group data. Okay, first step, you need to obtain or calculate cumulative frequency and determine its interval. Same as median, same as first quartile, cumulative frequency. Next step, find the Q3 class using this formula. 3n divided by 4. So position of Q3 is 37.5 between this interval 33 and 42. Therefore, this row become Q3 class. Next, using this formula, you can calculate third quartile LQ3. Okay, 69.5 lower class boundary of Q3 class. Next. Position of Q3, 37.5. Next, cumulative frequency before Q3 class. This one, frequency of Q3 class. And last one, C is class size. Calculate and then you got the answer. Q3 equal to 75. How to interpret? Back to concept. 75% less than, 25% more than. Therefore, 75% of students scored less than 75 marks. And the other, 25% scored more than 75 marks. Okay, same as Q1 median. We also can estimate upper quartile using odd shift. But first, you need to find position of Q3. By using this example, distribution of marks, position is position of Q3 is 3N divided by 4. How many N? 50 here. Divide by 4, so position is 37.5. So where is 37.5? Here. And then draw a line. Intersection here, draw the other line. Like that. Okay, next. This one. Intersection on X axis. That one is Q3. Okay, so how to calculate? Q3 equal to lower value 69.5 plus how many box? Approximate to 5.5 box. So, 5.5. So, you got the answer is 75 marks. Okay. Therefore, 75% of students scored less than 75 marks and another 25% scored more than 75 marks. Now, it's time for Hands on. Okay, this quick check focus on ungroup data. Second, focus on ungroup data with frequency. And last one, group data. So, what are you waiting for? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, guys, please try. That's all for today. Next, we will focus on measures of dispersion. Assalamualaikum and da.